back, Agent Nation. My name, of course, is Agent Beamstar. Let's get right into the news. Woo! Ladies and gentlemen, I didn't even want to come at y'all with this video this quick because I just dropped the 2K drama a few days ago, all right? But there's a lot of drama that popped off on Twitter last night. If you haven't heard already, you're about to hear. There's a couple stories I want to talk about, both unrelated, but let's get into the first story of the day. Ladies and gentlemen, I was chilling yesterday. I pulled out my phone and apparently Keemstar was angry with me because I just flat out stole his 2K, oh sorry, his drama alert series. He was saying, this. I can't make the trending page, but this dude jacking my brand can. Hashtag sad. And he dropped a look, the video that was doing well. Hey, shout out to y'all, it hit trending. And I was mad happy in that video. I was so excited, you know how happy I was. I hit trending, ladies and gentlemen. And he just went to rain on my parade. I was so disappointed. Um, She was like, whew, yo, this agent character just yoinked my stuff. I gotta say something. He followed up with this. Dude, you gotta stop this. You can't jack my agent. Not cool. We own the trademark on hashtag Dramaler. Change all the thumbnails. ECT. <laughs> and then immediately, why he had to say nothing out of nowhere? Thousands of people in the 2K community just came to my defense. His whole mentions was littered with L's. Saying, bro, you're bugging. You gotta protect Beamstar at all costs. And I was just like, I was sitting back like, I kinda like this, I'm gonna let y'all do the work, okay. Duke Dennis responded saying this. You just made it on Agent Beanstar, laughing, crying emoji. Young Precise responded saying this. Keem, don't flame my guy like that, it's different. We all fans, man. Ambish said this. LMAO, Agent Beanstar finna be on your ass with a whole lot of laughing, crying emojis. When I tell you everybody, I mean like the whole community. I was like, God damn, I didn't know I was missing this many of y'all, to be honest. Oh, y'all came out of nowhere, I'm surprised. But I was all for it. Listen, so I just kicked back, I was on my phone, and I ended up quote tweeting one of Keemstar's tweets. I said this. Maybe I'm better at reporting news. It's a possibility. Maybe I'm just so f prolific at reporting news that I just hit the trending page. Right? It's Agent Beamstar we're talking about after all. Maybe I'm just that damn good. It's possible. <laughs> Swante is in the comments saying, let him know the mother vibes, Beamstar. <laughs> Yo, this was a very, very funny afternoon, I tell you that. I didn't take much of what was happening too seriously, because how could you, man? It was all fun and games. Cole the man said this, Beamstar greater than Keemstar. And listen, man, I can't argue with facts. Badge plug, put the little flex emoji, 2K community got you, bro. So I was just like, yeah. Hell yeah, 2K community has his back. He's a better reporter. It's not even like that. It's just that Keem is just trying to clout chase because Asian's doing so good with his channel. All right, so apparently Keemstar was like, all right, okay. And he quote tweeted his own. He responded saying this. Yeah, Social Blade disagrees with that. I'm flattered you love my show, but do your own thing. Get your own style and change the thumbnails that say hashtag drama alert. And I, I came to try to get why you might be frustrated if somebody just yoinked your show. And apparently Ninja was feeling the same way. I was like, Ninja, are you not in Luminosity Gaming? I'm from there, bro. We supposed to like know each other. Ninja came at my throat. He said this. I have to agree with Keem. You should get your own style of branding thumbnail design and not directly copy it from the star himself. He sent a little heart his way, okay. Cole the man was just checking him. He's like, yo, I don't know if you know this, but it's a parody, face palm emoji. And Ninja responded to that saying, oh my God, lol, well in that case, my bad. Oh, that's it? We just resolved it just like that? All right. <laughs> So then everybody was going crazy at that point. I was like, oh man, my mention's not gonna stop. Keemstar, I don't think he saw that final tweet, but he quote tweeted the Ninja's original tweet saying, hashtag good guy Ninja. So I quote tweeted Ninja's original tweet and I said, the fighter for fair use and free speech, King Keemstar, can't see when parody's staring him right in the face. Ninja responded to that tweet saying, didn't know it was a parody. I apologize, bro. And he sent a little heart my way too. And I caught it and I stored it. Ah! <laughs> I gave him a little handshake, a little dap. Hey, listen, bro, we understand each other here. You didn't know all the facts, you were just coming with it, you know? If you didn't know it was a parody and you thought I was just stealing his show, then that's some fair stuff to say. Stop stealing his show. Dap it up, we understand what's moving, cut different ways, boom. Badge Plug responded with this meme. 
this type of shit and is Lisa Simpson mad mischievous. That might be the proper word for the situation. <laughs> Shake and Bake responded with the Shaquille O'Neal and Thanos combination. Can't be mad at that. <laughs> Swap Day himself responded saying, Parody beam star in the building, baby. Yeah, you already know, man. You okay, you listen, man. Agent at his desk waiting for them screenshots for the next drama alert. <laughs> Yeah, you know me, I was just screenshotting away the entire time. Listen, I was built for this, ladies and gentlemen. I don't have a team behind me. It's just Agent Beamstar in his form. There was like thousands of people tweeting everywhere and Keemstar decided to respond to the one guy saying, bruh, don't start this with the 2K community, you won't win. Keemstar quote tweeted that and said, you must be joking, the 2K community been on life support for three years. That's just factually incorrect. Most YouTubers are doing fantastic in 2K19. I'd say 2K19 is a mid-tier game and the audience loves watching videos of 2K. It's doing better than ever, better than any previous year, that's for sure. Keemstar, I think all he knows about the 2K community is like the few times he covered Cash Nasty a few years ago and, and OSN. I think they had a beef back in the day. So it, those two don't upload 2K on their main channels anymore. So if the only people he knew that was in the 2K community aren't uploading it on their main channel, I could see why he thought everything was dead and nobody was moving. The reality is if you watch the channel, you already know the community is pushing this year and it's been crazy to see so Keemstar responded to my tweet saying this oh so it's a parody so you're not reporting real news it's all a joke I don't think you know what a parody is question mark Troy Dan gave him the way too close of a close-up Donkey Kong meme <laughs> so I responded saying what only made sense you're confusing parody with satire but okay if it'll stop you from getting emotional I edit the thumbnails King Keemstar <laughs> What he's basically saying is that I'm using him to get views, which is lunacy to me. Unless I'm reporting on like Choi Dan, Jessa, or like a few other content creators, which rarely happens, I'm almost always reporting on people I have a bigger audience than. Keemstar, every time you report something, it's about the Jake Pauls of the world, the biggest content creators on the platform. It's like you're accusing me of using other people for views. That's not what I do, but that's exactly what you do by definition. But I've seen Keemstar's videos from time to time, and I know that he supports fair use to a T. So I just thought it was interesting that he couldn't see parody when he was looking directly at him. How could this not be more of a parody? What's, what's the definition of parody? Parody definition. An imitation of style of a particular writer, artist, or genre with a deliberate exaggeration for comic effect. <laughs> like, I don't know if there's, like, there's nothing else to say about it. It wasn't contentious though, it wasn't like I was angry, I was just having fun with the situation. How could you not? It was very funny. Keemstar responded to that tweet uh, with a little bit of sarcasm. He quote tweeted saying, Thanks, congrats on getting your golden play button. You know what's depressing? I'm in Canada and they don't even ship golden play buttons out here. So I'm not getting no golden play button, man. So I, I just hit a million subscribers and I didn't get it. I didn't get a plaque to let me know <laughs> that I'm valuable. And I don't even need to scroll through, but like every single mention was like L's, 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 L's. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Yeah, you took an L right there. L, L, L. Cash Nasty, Troy Dan, Shady. Like the whole community. I mean, everybody was there. Cole Man tweeted saying, I guarantee you Keemstar didn't even watch an agent video. It's obviously a parody. He literally calls himself Beamstar. The one and only. The greatest news reporter of all time, ladies and gentlemen. Here I am in my form. In my greatest form. See, but here's the issue that I'm having currently. So this, I don't know who this is, TSM Chica. She said, when I saw this, I clicked it because I thought a new drama alert was out. Really, that's what you thought. All right, so let's go to, let's go to the photo real quick. All right, so this is the photo of the thumbnail that Keemstar had a problem with. Uh, first of all, ever since I started doing the show a little bit more regularly, who would have thought people love drama? I changed this from saying drama alert to 2K drama alert because I wasn't, I don't care about Keemstar's views. I don't want those views. I want y'all. These are the people I make videos for. I don't want the guys that watch Jake Paul news gossip and drama. That's not what I do. Let's say that you're on the homepage and this video came up or you're on trending and this video came up. What are you looking at? Here's a beautiful picture of me in my greatest form right there looking all luscious smack dab in the middle 2k20 leaks it's an nba 2k dev zach timmerman 
tweeting the calm before the storm hashtag NBA 2K20. And I, I put a little screenshot here of the mocap and you can see it says 2K mocap, but you didn't even have to do all that information because everything about this thumbnail screams 2K. If that's the case, then how could I be possibly taking views from King Keemstar himself? TSM Chica, how could you possibly mistake in that thumbnail for a Keemstar video? But I obliged! Keem, I don't use people for views! Except when I'm uploading this series. So Toasted designs a lot of my thumbnails, right? He doesn't do the drama little ones because they're simple enough. I just do them myself because I know what I want on it. But Toasted decided to tweet out. He said, hey, agent, fix your thumbnail for you, ninja, Keemstar. This work for you? And he left a screenshot of the same thumbnail, but on the bottom, <laughs> he wrote, hashtag, this is not a drama alert, simply a parody with a similar thumbnail alert. <laughs> That way, TSM Chica, you can never get it confused. Look, it says it in text. Oh my God, the day, bro, the day where I have to use in literal words, explain parody to people. <sighs> but Keemstar, I understand where you're coming from. The reality for me is that if I drop a video and it does well, people copy it in the community. It happens. And I've never once gotten mad at those people, ever. And there have been times where somebody just copies my thumbnail and my title to a T, and it's not a parody. It's just for their channel. And I still didn't say anything because for me, it's like, whatever. This is what happens. It's life. At the end of the day, everybody's just trying to eat, and I recognize that. But I also see other videos I like on the internet, and sometimes I'd be thinking to myself, hey, what if I could do a 2K version of that? So I would be a massive hypocrite if I got mad at the people yoinking my if I was yoinking other people So I tasked Toasted, I said, hey, my guy, can you redo the, the drama alert thumbnails? I want Keemstar to be happy. King Keemstar, I couldn't possibly disappoint him. So that's exactly what we did. All right, so this is what the new and upgraded thumbnails look like so nobody could ever mistake in it for Keemstar's material. Cause God forbid, there's two viewers that cross over between me and him. All right, let's take a look at this thumbnail. We're not doing navy blue no more, we upgraded. We're doing light baby blue, ladies and gentlemen. If you look on the bottom, it's not a red footer anymore. It's a white footer with red text. That's totally different. And if you couldn't tell, my beautiful luscious face smack dab in the middle. And anybody with a brain should be able to spot that this is a 2K related video from a 2K content creator that has nothing to do with the original drama alert. In fact, if you'd read, it said 2K drama alert. So this is the point in the video where I explain to all of you, if you dare start using light baby back blue thumbnails with white footers and red text, I have a trademark for that. And I filed one because it only cost $300 to do it. <laughs> and I needed some content. <laughs> I have a trademark. Well, I applied for a trademark. You gotta wait six months for the whole approval process. On top of that, I don't know too much about law. I've taken a few classes when I was in university just killing the game. And from what I understand, Keemstar, unless you trademarked in Canada, your trademark doesn't apply to me. I'm not in your country, man. But anyway, nobody's trying to spend thousands and thousands on lawyers for what? A drama alert thumbnail? So I think Keemstar recognized that. I didn't make it a big deal. He didn't make it a big deal. At the end of the day, he just felt like he had his idea yoinked. And I understand why he might take that personally and take some shots. And all I did was try and explain to him why I wasn't yoinking his audience whatsoever. Or trying to deceive anybody into thinking his videos were mine. Because I don't even want that. The reason why I like to space out these 2K drama alerts is because I don't want to be an entirely news channel. That would be boring for me. From time to time, there's drama and people want to see it, so I'll drop a video. That's it. But what I really enjoy doing is just creating content. If I got pigeonholed into doing just this one thing, I would lose my mind. That's not what I want to do. Are you crazy? The reality is, is the drama sells itself, Keemstar. Whether I did this format or another format or this, that, third, people like seeing drama. You know that. That's why you started your channel. And the funny part is, is when somebody yoinks something of mine, I always see it because you guys tweeted at me. I tell me every single time somebody yoinks something of mine, I see it. I never say anything and I don't even care, so I just let it go. So I'm not gonna lie to you, I find it very hard to believe Keemstar just saw my 2K John Alert video. I think he been knew about it for a while, but when he saw me on trending, that's what frustrated him. I don't understand how trending works neither. I usually get trending for gaming. There's only two videos I've ever done that have gotten trending in general. And Keemstar, the reason it got trending had nothing to do with your show. It was a 2K20 related video. So people were a little bit gassed They're trying to see what I was talking about. So if anybody, if I'm cloud chasing anybody, it's 2K. It's the new game that people want to know about. 
not you. And I think he knows that, but on the off chance his ego is just so crazy that he thinks it's all about him. It's not. Anyway, that wasn't the only story of today since we're doing another damn 2K drama. There's another story and a pretty damn big one for our next story of the... I didn't do a proper one, man. I gotta come with the enthusiasm. For our next story of the day, do you remember like a week ago when I dropped that video talking about how executives in the gaming industry are ruining games for their bottom line and we're all blaming the developers for it? You remember that video? I right, there's a development on all of that because Kotaku dropped an article saying this. A US Senator is introducing legislation to ban loot boxes and pay to win microtransactions in games played by minors. It begins. So who you think is the main target of that? EA 2K. So I didn't, I don't see, I didn't expect anything like this, but I guess it's been a long time coming. The guy who tweeted this article out, uh, Jason Sh I'm not even gonna attempt that last name, that's a trap. This video game industry's inability to rein in unbashed greed, all stemming from the C-suite executives at the very tippity top who stomp on both players and their employees in the never ending quest to make as much money as possible will now face US regulations wild. That was the most biased but accurate title I've ever heard. Uh, Bleacher Reports Gaming even dropped their own saying the US Senator is introducing a new bill to ban loot boxes and they gave some more details saying Senator Josh Hawley announced a new bill that would ban loot boxes and pay to win microtransactions. This would include games whose developers knowingly allow minors to engage in microtransactions. In November, the Federal Trade Commission said it would investigate loot boxes after several Senator Maggie Hassan spoke out about the issue on an oversight hearing. So when you think of a game like 2K, my team, you would have to fundamentally change everything about that game mode to make it not pay to win. It's possible and it would make the game mode a lot better, but will 2K be willing to do that? <laughs> I read this funny comment that said, EA is gonna fire a whole lot of people in order to afford the bribe, I mean, lobbying to block this. <laughs> And that's the reality. The companies are gonna lobby this like crazy. They don't want this to pass. It's gonna change games as we know it. And hopefully positively, because there's a chance they just take this too far and it ruins part of what we enjoy in video games too. So I'm a little bit curious. I decided to see how Take Two stock was doing. It hasn't budged, ladies and gentlemen. It ended the last day on like what, 99.88? And now it's doing even better today, even after the news. So I was like, hmm, maybe EA is doing a little bit different. And it began on a 99, but it dropped all the way down to about a 93. But it, it closed yesterday at a 92. So even if you might think maybe it dropped because of the news, this is how it was doing exactly yesterday. So nah, they weren't even remotely affected, um, which I thought was like a little bit surprising. Maybe I just don't know if enough about stocks and stuff to be talking about that. But anyway, the main point of this whole story is, yeah, you could be seeing some major changes to NBA 2K in the next upcoming years. And that goes for every game that's pay to win, right? So ladies and gentlemen, that's been it for the news. If you enjoyed the drama alert, make sure to click this video, that video, this video, that video, or just follow the channel, subscribe, like the video. Hey, you don't have to do nothing. You guys showed all the love you could on Twitter today, and I appreciate that. Um, I'm going to catch you guys in the next one.